Now, you were first elected uh, to represent Hawaii in the, in the House, and then you've been in the Senate now since 1963. And of your many legislative accomplishments, uh, a couple were the Native Hawaiian Education Act and the Native Hawaiian Health Care Act. Tell us about those and, and why they were most important to you. Well, I suppose it goes back to my mother because my mother was an orphan at the age of four. Her parents were plantation workers and they were gone. And at that moment, uh, there was no social services in the territory of Hawaii. And so she was literally out on the streets. And along came a young Hawaiian couple, took her hand and took her home. That's the way they do it. Hanai adopted her. And she lived with them as a happy child for a year, and she never forgot that. And uh, she always reminded me what a gentle people, compassionate people these Hawaiians are. But as a result, they have been uh, exploited, taken advantage of. And so he says, you must do your best to protect them. And uh, when I became a politician, Hawaiians were on the bottom of this social and economic and political ladder. And I did my best uh, to see that they're provided with the basic necessities of life, education and health, over and above what we were providing. They lived in the slums. They lived in equivalent of reservations out in the countryside, far away from the center of civilization in Hawaii. So we brought medicine and education out there. 